the last few hours are hearing fightings resumed in the eastern Ukrainian town of Slavyansk after government troops renewed the crackdown on protesters there. There are thought to be casualties on both sides, including civilians. Well, in the last few hours, the preliminary reports have been getting through suggest at least 10 locals and four troops sent by Kiev have been killed there. According to the Interior Ministry, a Ukrainian army helicopter was down too. Artis Paula Slyr became trapped in the town after the roads out were blocked. She did manage to get this report back to us, though. A little bit behind these trees is the TV centre, which is currently in the hands of the Ukrainian army. We saw in the last few moments a rocket flying over so we're going to try and get a little bit closer to determine exactly what's going on. The road to the TV centre has been blocked by a train so just on the other side of that train is going to be the Ukrainian army. Okay so that the rocket fired at the wagon from a helicopter yeah. but that it's the anti-Kiev demonstrators who closed yeah. the road. Yeah. Let's make a run for it. This way at least we out of sight hopefully from the snipers and we can get to the railway cart the back route okay so we're here we're closer to the railway cart i want us to get even closer and just try and talk to the guys about what's happening we saw the rocket coming over yeah, from from the sky I think. from the sky and it fired on and it fired on where right there that's a hole made that's all the guy's telling us to go inside the building because it's very dangerous here and he's asking if we want a cup of tea. I think, tell him, not, not at the moment, thank you. <laughs> I see Molotov cocktails here. You can actually see the guy preparing them. One of the guys here just warned us to keep low because he says they're on top of the TV building, snipers, and they're shooting at anything that moves here. The guys are actually hiding underneath the, the railway line with rifles. OK, the guys are actually telling us to go, so let's, let's just make our way through the field. But there's some guys here with guns. Here's a guy with a gun. Don't shoot your face, please. My sister in Italy will kill me. Italy. What is he saying? My sister in Italy, she, if she sees it, uh, she will kill him. I have parents in South Africa. If they see me, they're going to kill me. 